In this series of videos, we will show the ability of Moldworks to work on legacy molds, on molds created in other CAD systems, or as a set of tools to perform one specific task, such as adding a trim ejector or routing a cooling cycle. In this section, we show how to add it to the Moldworks structure so that all the Moldworks functionality will become available. This is also a good way to start using Moldworks immediately without having to learn the complete system. On the screen is a mold from a different CAD system. First, we use the Add User Plate menu from the right-hand mouse button on the plate folder in the Moldworks Feature Manager tree to select the plates which are added to the other folder. In fact, this is all we need to start using the Moldworks menus. However, we can add more information in order to expand our display options. Here, we move the plates from the other folder to the static and mobile sides of the mold according to their positions. Once this is completed, then we can use the folders to organize the display, for instance, showing just the mobile side. Next, we display the legacy core and cavity inserts and add them to the inserts folder while designating them as core and cavity respectively. Finally, we designate each plate according to its mold function, core, cavity, risers, etc. Showing the core plate from the Moldworks Feature Manager tree will display the core insert as well. Same for the cavity plate. Showing the ejection will show the ejector plates as well. Check out the next video to see how to use the Add component 